Right, so today, since I burnt this guy out so lovingly, um, I had to buy a new one. And since I bought a new one, I figured I'm going to not let that happen again, or at least give myself a fighting chance. So I ordered a Honda OBD1 ECU capacitor kit, as you can see. And it is for replacing. I have the P28A01. You can see I have the P28A02 right here. So as you can see in that screenshot, that's the difference between the A01 and the A02. It's basically just a year and revised chipboard. So I ordered this kit based on this number up here. So I'm hoping that that number will still appear in here. But before I do that, this guy's pretty dirty in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this case a little bit. It's nothing too crazy, but let's give it the old once over. Definitely blow out these uh, a massive amount of dirt in here. That's better, much cleaner, much nicer. So I was cleaning it off, I found a date on here. July 23rd, 94. I was 13, first summer as a teenager. All right, let's crack this guy open and see what it looks like inside here. Wow. These screws are so full of dirt that I have to like use a pick. I just, I just barely even started. I had to use a pick just to get that out. Like that, ugh. This one's full of neon green something. That's a little dusty. <laughs> a little dusty, but uh, looks all right. Nothing crazy burnt or anything. Go ahead and uh, got the 1500 board, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, I might be wrong on that. I'm going to double check all this stuff before I do because looking at this guy, 17, 20, 1500, 11F. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that uh, my kit I ordered is the right kit. It should be. I got the two big boys and a bunch of littler ones. Let me double check on this one for sure. All right, just took a little brush, give it a light brushing, and uh, dusted it out for as long as I could hold the can. Looking pretty good. I guess next up here would be uh, take the back off and see what the back of the board looks like. All right, back cover looks great. Plastic's all intact. No burn marks or anything like that. Back of this guy is looking pretty good. A little piece of schmutz or something there. Not anymore. A little bit of stuff here. Looks pretty good though, all in all, I'll say. Alright, so I took the rebuild kit, wrote down all the numbers for them. The amount, um, the voltage, the UF, um, and then I looked at the P28 and I went through each one of them and read them off and tick marked them and so you can see the differences in the original voltages there's some obviously um, like the 333s at the 35 volt those are the same so that's pretty obvious uh, the 220 220 47 47 uh, the two 100s 35 and 10 volts both the ones that come in the rebuild kit are 35 volts um, there is some discrepancy, you know, like the 50 volts uh, in the rebuild kit for the 220s. There's only going 10 volts on the original. So I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of research, make sure, um, even though it's pretty obvious what lines up with what, I just want to make sure if it's the voltage or the uh, UF. Plus, I want to find out what UF means. So, all right, got my little station set up. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy turned on, ready to heat it up. And I've already pre-marked my spots. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll be doing these one at a time. Uh, I took about five minutes to really figure out, make darn sure, locate around everything, and really make sure that that's where they are. So the first one's gonna be these two right here. 
Next one's gonna be these two off to the side. And that one right there. And there's one here and here. And then there's there. There's these two. And these two up here. And that's that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number seven, eight. All right. All right, as you can see, I got my first one out. Uh, back out so you can see. <clears throat> it's a little better. Look, when it's zoomed out, it's not so grainy, but you can see it better when it's I zoomed in. So yeah, that's that guy out. Pretty easy. Just uh, use a little bit of soldering wick. Got this guy nice and hot. Um, yep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. That one was a hundred. I think it's ultra milli fluorescent. I can't remember what the F stands for. I figured it out, but I can't remember now. I think the U is a uh, ultra milliliter, something or other. But yeah, 100 UF 10 volt. That guy falls under the 100 UF 35 volts that I got sitting here. It's one of them ones. As long as I match up the uh, ultra milli amp things or whatever, I should be good. Not for the really boring stuff. Put it in, make sure I got my negative facing away from the positive, obviously. Hold this in place. Slightly bend it. Just to keep it held there. And then we go in for the real, the real show. If I can figure out where it is. Yeah, right there. So, Sweet the knees, thin the knees. I'm trying to use up the last of this weird solder. Weird solder. And oh, a little bit of flux in it. Kind of time a bottle of flux. Sucks because I really needed that. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, <clears throat> see a little solder on this. I used a bit much, but I think, I think that'll do. Let me get you up here. Get an idea what we're looking at. Probably look a little nicer after I clean it up a little bit, but that's generally the idea you're going for, especially the one on the left there, or I guess on the bottom. To me, it's the left. So now that you got those guys in there, Grab your handy dandy flush cutters. Get off. Get off of there. There you go. That is a beautifully 
I don't know about beautifully, but where's my thumb? There's my thumb. Right there, that's my guy. Looks better than some of the original ones. That one on the left is definitely a little shaky. I'm gonna hit that up again real quick. Just to nice and smooth. See if I can do it on camera here while I'm holding it. We'll figure out where I am. Here we are. Just a little bit of heat. Just a little bit of heat to heat. Kind of get that solder to fall in there and wrap around. Not the easiest thing to do while you're holding it up in the air, but yeah, all right. Oh, to the next one. Let's check out this guy. Um, got the holes present. I'm just gonna go back, clean it up, a little rubbing alcohol. Um, to clean up any kind of plugs that stood or anything that melted. Coating might have gotten on there. Also, the Sharpie we used. Clean that off. I like that jazz. I like that jazz. I use the isopropyl hydro dojo isopropyl. Like, uh, quick cleaning, non residue, etc., etc. That'll be pretty good. Nice and dry. Now, this is one of the uh, 220s so big boy time figure out where I'm at match up my positive and my negative extremely important and my hole wasn't big enough I'm gonna have to run something through there I could use this other tip this other soldering tip Make a hole. When in doubt, make a hole. Not gonna happen. Try not to put any stress on the board. <clears throat> but, I mean, you know, it's a stressful world, so. I have to get over it. Ugh! Okay, so don't bend. Just shove it in there. First, it all goes smoothly, and then you turn the camera around, and then boom. Just feel it through the other side. Dang Trials and tribulations. Well, I feel like I'm just... Yeah. I know what I'm gonna do. Alright, so it's been a couple days. Um, I wanna check on some stuff. It's uh, after I got the throttle cable fixed, um, the high idle and the crazy hunting idle pretty much went away. Um, there's a little bit left. I think it's just the idle learning itself, the ECU learning itself. Um, I was having a weird kind of slippage issue. I realized that my my setup here with my 
uh, clutch pedal was a little tight and I wasn't getting any kind of slack or click down here. So I loosened that up a little bit. As I'm doing this, I wanted to check on my brake fluid level. And as you can see, or maybe not see, it is full of shit. Over here, it is dry as fuck. Full of shit and dry as fuck, that's what I like to see. And it's still uh, doing just great. I pulled out the paper towel I had in there, it's dry. Um, yeah, you might have just seen I am over here working on this guy doing the capacitor replacements. Um, working on that video, getting ready to do this. Made sure my plugs fit this ECU, which they do. I got more wiring in today. This is gonna be for the firewall. We'll go down there. That's where the main, main harness is gonna come through. But yeah, trucking along. Get ready for this video, because it's coming up. All right, so just got everything done. Um, turn this guy off. Um, I got everything all done, threw it in the car, didn't start. Uh, fuel pump didn't turn on, nothing. So I knew as I was having a couple problems getting solder into the hole itself. So um, my flux is empty. I'm out. I need to buy some more. I thought I had a bunch, but I think I was thinking of something else. So. I'm going to have to put this on hold for right now until I come back. And yeah, I guess that leaves me at using the other one. Using the uh, the one I was just using. I don't even remember what the hell it is. PO6 E52 or something. But um, yeah, so for now, I'm just going to have to order some. Hopefully I can get it in tomorrow. Um, or else I'll have to walk up somewhere and find some. No big deal. Or drive up there because I have the other ECU. No big deal. Uh, I think I know what my problem is. Easy fix. Hopefully easy fix. And then, uh, yeah. So for right now, I'm just going to take a break. As far as bad habits go, that is. You didn't learn any bad habits. Hopefully you learned what not to do. If you're me. But you're not me. You're you. You. You.